If my voice sounds familiar to you, it's probably because you're a deadbeat. I worked as a bill collector in my 20s and a brutal one at that. That's when Biggie told me that I should go the white boy way of slinging crack and become a stockbroker. I can attest that the venom and nastiness that most Americans can pull up at the drop of a hat has been around a lot longer than the comments section. Don't get me wrong, I've got no problem thinning out the herd. You don't want me working at the office. I'm a ticking time bomb. Speaking of nice guys from Buffalo in the entertainment industry, why does nobody ever talk about the girls who said yes to Harvey? If you're not careful, talking shit, making up stories, and telling people what to do for a supposed living are all great ways to end up miserably out of shape. If I were a Nazi, I'd get kicked out for not being able to goose step properly. If you really think about it, laziness is the smartest trait there is. What is the main reason the robots are coming? To supposedly make our lives easier and do all the things that we don't want to do. You know, like fuck our spouses. But what about that guy over there? Or the angry little malcontents over there? Look at the sick shit you fuckers get up to when they just let us have access to the internet. For me though, there will always be lingering PTSD from the Clone Wars. While doom scrolling through my morning deuce, I felt a cold sensation in a very private area. Where I'm holding my little cup of pee now. Are you out of your Vulcan minds? If the government had a microphone in my home, you might as well stone me tomorrow. So naturally, I blame the situation on the rise of white supremacy in our home. And just like that, Alexa now has you on a Christian nationalist list. But I'm not the crazy one in this equation. It's the freaks out there who are still calling in the radio stations with song requests. And fuck Fast and the Furious, by the way. Shouldn't we decide now where the line is between spray tan and blackface? Then it's time we have standardized fuck ratings for bed frames and mattresses. If it doesn't scan by the third time, it's going in my bag either way. Meanwhile, Bob over there has got a hefty bag he's using to clear out the OTC drug aisle. These social sociopaths are a scourge on our society. Now, how much do you think the odds of being a pedophile go up for the ice cream truck drivers that work at night? Even Big Worm didn't rock the night shift and he was selling drugs out of the truck. Hey, kick the fridge. How crazy am I? I have a lifelong fear of a toilet monster that's held at bay by narcissism and delusions of grandeur. I didn't grow up in the pampered generation. I grew up in the suck it up and walk it off generation. You know who puts up with a lot of crazy? Guys who are trying to hook up. This woman is using her great body to lure desperate men home to her and her boyfriend so they could pitch you on a pyramid scheme. As a general rule, I don't trust anyone that isn't getting it on the regular. All we do is fill these pent up bastards with resentment and animosity. You know who I should have hired to do my PR? Whoever the fuck does PR for heroin. It's always associated with junkies, rotten teeth, and overdoses. I need to ride this snake. So I'm sure it won't shock you to find out that I'm also a doomsday prepper. Every morning is like Christmas if Satan was Santa. 